So David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burned with fire and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Please, man, woman, that would be a thousand times better or that is going to enjoy the full package of restoration. Please don't leave weak people defenseless. Don't leave weak people without a defense. These men went out. They left weak people in the city. Who was going to take care of the city when they were out? Women that were not fighting women. Children that they couldn't fight. And God is saying in this season, teach them to build strength. We're going to start teaching everyone how to be strong, even on their own. But in the meantime, and I want to bring it because this is, we're talking about physical warfare. It is both what applies, principles in the physical still applies in the spiritual realm. Please, when you have weak people, that is why God has positioned you here. You are the strength and you are their defense. You're the one that will defend them. That is why you stand at the gate and you begin to determine what comes in and what doesn't come in. You stand at the gate and you say, all this area, all this area are secured because I'm the person. I have taken territorial cover over this place. Do you know that because of you, your streets can be safe? It can be happening elsewhere, but you see my streets. I have taken charge. A Libra Koshayada. Your children may be weak, are weak because they are children, they are young, but it is a place as the mother, as the father, to be the defense and make sure you put the cover around them. Every time you're covering them, you build a wall of fire. So even if I'm there or I'm not there, my children are covered. My children are, de are, de are defended, are protected. Can you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, build strength? Tell your neighbor, build strength. I can't hear you say build strength. So let the strong ones cover or defend the weak ones. And don't encourage weakness. Don't encourage weak people around you to remain weak. Don't encourage weak people around you to remain weak. What do I mean by this? Even to your children, even though they are young now, as they start growing, start teaching them. Teach them how to pray. Teach them how to fast. Teach them these things. Teach them how to read the word. Teach them. Start doing memory verse with them. Let them start learning how to be what? Strong. A day will come, they need to be what? Strong. I will cover you right now, but a day will come. You too, you need to also do what? Build your own strength. Imagine if these women were fighting women. Imagine if they were fighting women and the children were fighting children. These uh, Amalekites, even if they were going to win, it would have been difficult. And maybe because they will be fighting, it would take a longer time. David they may have come back and met them fighting and joined in the fight. And probably the city wouldn't have been burnt. But because they were weak, it was an easy victory. They just entered and just carried and just moved. Everything was easy. Everything was easy because they were weak. Please, we cannot raise weak people in this season. It will be easy for the enemy. We, we, we can't raise weak people. We don't wait for them to come. The season of waiting for them to come. I'm not doing them anything I'm on my own. Eh, 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 eh. As you're on your own, they are thinking of what to do to you. So before they think it, we stop it. Can someone shout fire? I can hear you shout fire. Please secure your territory. Look at your neighbor. Give your neighbor high ten. Tell your neighbor, secure your territory. Secure your territory. Secure your territory. You know why this is important? If these things had happened, David wouldn't have been praying to God, talking about, should I pursue? Should I overtake? Should I recover all? If all these things were done, that is why we're looking at these things. So that we make sure that we have done everything we need to do. So that there is nothing missing and nothing broken. The enemy can't even come and steal from us. If he's stolen in the past, he's in the past. But you see in the future, he can't steal anymore. Can someone shout fire? I can't hear your fire. So, the, so in the Bible we read, and the Amalekites, the Bible says they were able to burn Ziegler and take their loved ones, the wives and the sons and the children. Ayiko post there that if David and his men were around, I know it wouldn't have happened. I know they wouldn't have succeeded. They were able to do this just because of what these people were not around. And you know what? As they were able to do, see, another thing that happened here that presented itself was that it was time. They had time to do the things that they did. There was time. Time worked for their enemies. Remember, David and his men were not there. They were in a far place doing their own thing. Before they would walk and get back home, everything had happened. Imagine if 
they, you know, that, that time, and God is saying, you see, in this season, we will not give anything to time. Negativity, we won't give negativity time. We will not give negativity time. Negativity thrives on time. Negativity progresses in time. That is why when we read the scripture, the Bible will now say that he will restore all the years that the canker worm, the palm worm, the caterpillar, what are the years? Time. Time. But you see, from today we are saying that we will not allow negativity ride on time. Can someone rise up and shout fire? Can someone rise and say fire? Say negativity. I will not give you time to grow in my life, to progress in my life. Time will work against you. Time will not work for you. Can someone shout fire? I cannot hear you shout fire. Shout your fire. Let your amen thunder. Raise your hand and say, oh Lord, oh Lord, from today I decree time will only work for me and not against me. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Another thing we see is that when Sigla was born, it was because David and his men were somewhere else. And one prayer God said we must pray is that the truth is that you cannot be everywhere at the same time. But God, even if I go out, keep my home. Even if I am at home, keep my business. Even if I am in my workplace, keep my children. We can't be everywhere at the same time. Ayiko Posha, they went to do something that would have been a good cause for their city when they come back, for the children and for the wife. But by the time they came back, what they left was no more there. I will not go on a journey and come back and meet disaster waiting for me. Who knows what I'm saying? I will not go out on a journey. That is how people used to hear fire incident. You are in one place, they say your house is burning, you know, your house, your shop is burning, you know. Can someone shout fire? Can someone shout fire? Can you raise your hand and say the fire of God uh, answers for me? Uh, am I going out and my coming in? Can someone shout fire? I can't hear your fire. Let your fire be the loudest. <laughs> 